<coughs> I'm sorry. Fine. Okay. So in the last class we discussed about creating tables. I guess I hope. I guess I gave you some assignment, right? So I got only three or four responses, guys. I asked you to create tables and asked you to insert some records and asked you to filter the records using where condition. So hardly three or four people completed. What about others? No, I completed two. Okay, great. What about others, guys? So first of all, yeah, thank you. Please raise your hands. Those who started creating VMs, installing virtual machines, and all, please raise your hands. At least, at least, like creating VMs and all. At least. Shiv Tiwari, and who else, guys? Please raise your hands, guys. Who started practicing and all? Just raise your hands. One more guy. Who is that? Nitin. Okay, fine. Okay, Kamini. Good. Wilson. Okay. Fine. Pad sir, they good. Okay, good. Okay, Joy. Okay, fine, guys. So if you miss the practice, no one can help you out. Very important, guys. These things are very simple. You might feel that you know the things. Okay, sometimes. Okay, so if you don't practice it again, it will be a complete new session to you. So please don't leave the practice and all. Keep on practicing, guys. Regularly, you have to practice at least three to four hours. You have to spend whatever I'm discussing. to practice it at least you, you you can it will be like 2 hours for you okay so just invest two more hours for exploring the things okay so just try to google the topics and all whatever we discuss just try to google it just check whether you will get any new points on the same topic okay so you have to do guys otherwise you are going to lose a lot of things okay fine sirisha thank you so let me start the vm So in the last class we discussed about the uh, databases, creating databases, internals of databases, internals of files, right? Internals of files, and we discussed about the tables, how to create tables, how to insert values inside the tables, right? So and how to how to search the data, how to filter the data, okay? How to filter the data? So using where condition and also all these things we discussed in the last class, okay? One minute. Uh, one minute. Uh, Gouda, you joined from two devices. This is Sam. Yes, I was having some connect. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. right okay so all these things we discussed in the last class today we'll discuss about the system databases guys okay so how many databases will be created when you install the sql server system databases are very important okay so sometimes they will ask you what is the use of master what is the use of model what is the use of temp db what is the use of ms db and we have one more hidden system database called resource database today we'll cover the system databases okay and uh, might be if possible today evening we'll cover the patchings how to patch the sql server how many types of patches are there what is meant by service pack what is meant by cumulative update hot fixes okay how to patch a sql server so all these things will be covered in the next sessions guys fine so when you install sql server when you install sql server generally you will get four system databases right so you can see in the management studio if you expand the databases you can see an option called system databases okay in that system databases you can see four databases when you install sql server generally 
five system databases you will get guys okay five system databases system databases are like which will help you to run the sql server those are inbuilt databases by default when you install sql server by default you will get those databases you cannot delete those databases those are default databases and you cannot delete those databases if those databases are deleted sql server won't be up and running guys okay just one minute huh? sql server won't be up and running right fine so that is the main problem okay so if this is if there is no system databases your sql survey server won't be up and running guys so how many system database will get what is the use of each system database okay so we'll discuss guys so generally when you install sql server you'll get five system databases one is master second one is modal third one is msdb and the fourth one is tempdb guys okay fourth one is temp db and fifth one also there that is a resource database so i'll tell you what is this resource database and all okay right so how many system database you'll get five system databases five system databases when you install sql by default you will get these databases no need to create okay so first one is master very important very critical database second one is model third one is msdb and fourth one is your temp db and fifth one is also there which is a hidden database you cannot see in the management studio okay which is resource db okay resource database so what master will do guys what master will do okay so these these five databases are mandatory uh, without these five databases sql server won't be up and running as discussed earlier right so what master will do guys generally so master is responsible for SQL Server, okay. So master is very critical database. If there is no master database, there is no SQL Server. What master will do, guys? When you create any database, you can see the files, right? Files locations and all, right? When you create a new database, you can see by default files will be created. When you create a database, how many files will be created, guys? <laughs> Two files. Two files. Two files. Two files. Right. What are those two files? Data and file and log file. Log file. Data file means what is the extension for data file? MDF. 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 Okay, MDF file and LDF file. If you want extra data files, you can add NDF files. Okay, fine. So while creating, you can see some path means by default it will store in that location, right? So master database. What it will do, it will store all other databases locations. It will store all other databases or all other files. Files means data files and log files. In which location these files are stored, this type of information will be stored in the master database. Master database is a very critical database. Without master, there is no SQL server. SQL server won't be up and running and master database stores lot of things in that one thing is like it will store all the other databases including system databases it will store model database files location it will store msdb files location it will store tempdb files location it will store store all other user databases files location it will store the location path don't think master database will store other databases no it will store the path of other data files and log files okay when you see here if you expand databases you can see system database right master model msdb tempdb these these four databases you will get it by default when you install the sql server you will get one more extra database system database called resource database that is a hidden database that you cannot see in the object explorer and even in the query results also you cannot see due to security reasons that database was hidden guys 
so your master contains the parts of other database like model database if you go to the properties of the model database you can see other database files you can see other database files okay this one you can see path right this information will be stored in the master database i hope last time we used one command anyone remember that command guys someone asked one question okay so to see all other data files and log files location we'll use one one command anyone remember that command i'll give you a gift yes sir select from yes tell me. star from sys dot sysalt files who is that yeah this is prasad very good prasad okay select star from sys dot sysalt files select star from sys dot sysalt files okay if you execute you can see right if you see here these are the files see master database data file log file model database data file log file okay if you just keep your cursor here okay it will be expanded guys master database data file log file temp db data file log file model db data file log file if you see here you can see the extensions master.mdf master log.ldf temp db.mdf temp log.ldf model dot ld model dot mdf model all this information means all other databases system databases along with user databases data files and log files information will be stored in the master database paths paths information about other databases will be stored in the master database it will store what is the database names what are the database names and all what are the sizes of the databases of each database it will store the information of other databases guys it will store the sizes of other databases it will store the paths of other databases it will store the metadata of other databases guys okay master will store the metadata of other databases what is metadata metadata means data about the data means for example you are there your height is a metadata your weight is a metadata your color is a metadata okay so the data about the data you can say metadata guys okay so in the same way so master database will store the information about the other databases all the information complete information like what is the database name what is the size of the database what is the database id is in which locations they stored all this information will be stored in the master database master is very critical database not only the paths files and the is being muted if you don't have questions not only the paths guys it will also store the security security means logins you can see the logins information right who who can log in into my sql server okay who can log into the sql server that list depends upon the logins list right those who are there in this logins list they only can log into my sql server those who are there in this list last time we discussed even though you are a company ceo it don't detect whether you are there in this list i will allow you if you are not there in this list i don't allow you that's it very simple if you are there in this list i will allow you if you are not there in this list i don't allow you so that's why during installation we'll get one screen authentication screen during that you have to add okay you have to add what you have to do guys you have to add one account i'll show you i'll show you one screenshot so this this uh, uh query uh give us like everything right like everything db id yeah. i mean data data file and uh, log file yes. as well as data database yes. id yes, yes and the path right okay yes it will, it will show you all the all the yeah. things that is really good yeah one minute okay just a minute i'll show you one screen guys then you can recollect okay so yesterday one guy i guess sam pinged me sir i am getting this issue if you see here server configuration he is getting on issue can anyone tell what is the issue here 
just whatever we're discussing now that is related to this issue only guys so sam is getting on issue uh, sam is getting on issue while installing the sql server in this screen you can see windows authentication mixer authentication we just discuss it right we'll discuss about these two authentications in the next class and all i mean later during the security discussion so here sam is getting on error this is the error what is the error guys so in this screen we'll do one thing guys what we are going to do while during installation we'll get this screen so in this screen we have to do one thing what we have to do guys we should add current user correct. as administrator correct correct so you have to click on the current user add current user what it will do when you when you click on add current user what it will do administrator you need to you need to add as an administrator you need to add as an administrator yeah like uh on in, in the in the back window there yes you yes. can yeah yeah one minute one minute one minute, one minute. It is through the current uh, login. Yes. Okay. Here you can see add current user. When you click on add current user, what will happen, guys? What will happen? An account will be created in the logins list. So that's why when you install the SQL Server, if you click on that add current user section, your account like someone like uh, imagine Suresh is installing SQL Server. He will log into the Windows machine with his name Suresh. When when he just clicked on this add current user, his account will be added to the logins list. So once the installation is completed, Suresh can log in. Other no no other people can log in, guys. Even though you are a Windows admin, even though you are a Windows admin, Windows side you have full rights. Still you cannot log into SQL Server. Even though you are a CEO of the company, you have full rights. Still you cannot log into the SQL Server. What is the minimum prerequisite? that person should be part of this logins list progress those who are there progress. in this list those people only can connect to my sql server other people they cannot connect it will check in the list okay ramesh is trying to log into my sql server ramesh imagine i'll select sql server authentication i'll just type ramesh something password i'm giving okay not sure when i click connect definitely i'll get their login failed for the user ramesh why Why, guys? He is not there in list. Right. Because user is, is not there. added in the Correct. Section. Ramesh is not part of the list. Yes. Okay, so that's why definitely he'll get the error. Ramesh might be CEO of the company, but system don't know, right? He's a CEO or security guard. So system don't know, right? SQL Server don't know. So simply whether your account is there or not. If it is there, I'll allow you. If it is not there, I don't allow you. Okay, so this logins information will be stored in the master database. This logins information also will be stored in the master database. Okay, so master database, what and all things it will contain, guys? Master database will contain all the information about the other databases, including system database. It will contain information about other databases. It will store the paths of other databases. It will store the paths of other databases. It will store. One minute. Just take. Uh, just give me a minute, guys. Right, so this is the document control F master. 
right okay all right not this master must again master okay done fine so where is the master yes contains all the system objects like how many tables columns all metadata so one of the core database to manage the sql server instance level configurations also will be stored means instance level settings server level settings server level configurations and all okay will be stored in the master database guys it will know about all the databases in the sql server yes files for each database also it will know logins information also it will store guys in the master database it will store logins information just now we discussed right linked servers so this is like a different concept we have an option called linked server using this linked server you can link two different rdbms means you can send and receive the data from oracle to sql server you can send and receive the data from mysql to sql server using one feature called linked server you have to create a linked server between oracle and sql server so that you can okay um, send the data you can receive the data from the oracle to sql server in the same way from other rdbms software to sql server you can send and receive the data using linked servers options guys endpoints information endpoints you will came to know in the mirroring always on so we'll discuss endpoint is nothing but a, a communication point an entry point guys if there is no master we cannot start the sql server if there is no master what will happen guys we cannot start this why because all the databases information will be stored in the master database right why we cannot start the sql server if there is no master these are four system databases and one more important system database called resource database five system databases are there these five system databases should be there to start the sql server if master is down sql server can't access other system databases right if other system databases are not online sql server won't be online is it clear guys any questions here no sir right so that's why master is so critical if there is no master there is no sql server guys master is very important next is model what model will do so model what is the meaning of model guys role model what is the meaning of role model or model model just role model or model replica. sorry i mean replica replica not not exactly mm. model oh you like can, you're following you following you can, you can, following the call it as a replica um, like close to the answer replica okay so yeah we have to we will follow role model means what guys role model means we'll try to imitate him we'll try to impersonate him we'll try to follow him okay so this is called model or role model guys so in the same way when i'm creating a new database when i'm creating a new database I can see okay what I'm doing simply I'm giving okay database name sales database so I'm not doing any other things guys I'm just giving the name and I'm clicking okay this is how simple it is to create any database but who is giving this initial size values who is enabling this auto growth okay whenever you create a new database you have to sit in this location who is giving this path who is giving all these values true false some other global values and all who is giving those values guys so uh, shishekar you can stop camera let me help you yes okay fine so who is giving all these values guys full recovery model none everything who is giving okay so when you are creating a new database when you are creating a new database actually you are renaming a copy of the model database a copy of the model database a copy of the model database guys okay when you are creating a new database you are renaming a copy of the model database sir where is the proof i want to see the proof okay okay fine so what i am going to do earlier while creating the database how much i am getting guys how much values i am getting 8 and 8 right chalo 
can we change this values yes later also we can change it what i am going to do now i'll change the model database properties guys i'll change the model database properties in the file space i'll make this as 80 i'll make this as 61 right now i'm just click just click okay okay you can do that you can change the values okay now i'm creating one more new database see here earlier it was 8 and 8 right so now you can see here 8 and 61 from where i got these values so when you're creating why when you create a database by just giving a name how come it is creating a new database without asking any other values without asking the files location without asking the uh, file size without asking auto growth values these are mandatory but it is not asking it is not asking the size it is not asking the auto growth it is not asking hey where i have to sit in which location you want me to create it is not asking the location also simply it is asking one name just give me the name i'll i'll take care of it how come means when you create any new database it will follow model database properties it will follow model database properties guys so logically you are renaming a copy of the model database not model database sir can we rename model database no system databases you cannot rename so when you create any new database it will create a copy for model database then that copy of the model database you are renaming as a new database guys is it clear what model will do this is the main important part of the model database. this is the main advantage of the model database guys we don't have any other features model database will help you to create a new database when you create a new database it will follow the model database properties model database values and all is it clear everyone yes yes sir yes sir clear right so now yes. i have a quick question for all of you if it is clear i have a quick question for all of you what is that question sir if there is no model my sql server will be up and running or not if there is no model database, SQL Server will be up and running or not. What is the answer? Just try guys. Yes or no. No problem. No problem at all. Just try it. Yes or no. Uh, no, I no, sir. no, sir. Why no? No. Why See, it no? should be it should be running, sir. It should be running, okay. Uh because uh, it will it be uh, it will be it's uh, check like that that uh, uh the model okay so i have a quick question for all of you for master without master there is no sql server so for that i explained you the reason why because it stores all other database values properties paths files and all so if master is not coming online other databases won't come online if other databases won't come online sql server won't come online so i just explained the reason like this but if my model is down yeah. why i cannot start my sql server what is the reason what is the reason? If there is no model, I cannot start my SQL Server. What because is the reason? Master database I have all information. Yes, sir. Hmm. What is the reason, guys? Why I cannot start the SQL Server if there is no model database? So, temp won't, won't start uh, if model is down. Okay. So, that point will be discussed during the temp DB discussion, guys. But the answer is yes. I mean, like, no. If model is down, you cannot start the SQL Server. Okay, so most of you said no, right? So it's correct. So if the answer, like if there is no model database, you cannot start the SQL Server. Why we cannot start the SQL Server? What is the reason that will be discussed during the TempDB discussion, guys? Clear? Model will act as a copy or replica for the newly created databases. Whenever you are creating a, any new database, it will take some properties from the model database. You are simply renaming a copy of the model database. That's why you can create model database. Okay. Um, like very simple. It's very simple, right? To create a new database. Simply you will give the name. You don't give any other values. So from where we are getting all other values? From model database, we are getting all other values and properties, guys. Okay, so this if is all about yes, please. If it's a copy, then it, it would help so the later on it would help with the replication or restore. No. Oh. No, how come? How come? See, you will create one sales database now. 
you will you will mm -hmm. in, you will create some tables in that sales database those tables and all won't be stored in the model right it just a, a, a template we can say it's a template oh yes right when you restore model database you will get a blank database got the point sam right okay so this is how it will work guys so model will act as a template for the newly created template means you know right template messages and all means predefined text will be there simply will send it to the recipients right so model will act as a template for the newly created databases right next is msdb what msdb will do guys msdb is responsible for automation msdb is responsible for automation automation means what kind of automation will be discussed in the automation sessions guys we have an automation session like how to automate the things in sql server like how to automate the backups how to automate some other things also we'll discuss during the automation session automation means simply automate the things i have 100 databases or 1000 databases in my sql server for safety side i have to take the backup of each and every database means 1000 database backups i have to take every day every day i have to take 1000 databases backups like this i have 500 servers 500 into 1000 how many guys how, how much 500 into 1000 I, I guess it will be 5 lakhs so 5 lakh databases i have to take the backups every day is it possible to take the manual backups every day on 5, 5 lakh databases 500k databases is it possible guys no. difficult very difficult i can say it's impossible okay so what we have to do backups are very important guys if suddenly my database is corrupted i should have backup to restore right so i cannot skip backups i have to take the backups i should take the backups but i cannot take it manually that we can achieve using automation so we can create some jobs we can create some jobs we can create some jobs the jobs will trigger during the scheduled time and then they are going to take the backups of all the databases this is an automation instead of if there is no automation you have to take 5 lakh databases backups every day which is very difficult and it is impossible for a small team or big team also even big team also that we can achieve using automation we can create one job the job will trigger it as per the scheduled time the job will run one backup command so that command will will fire on every database and the database backups will be taken so this is called automation so this automation related means jobs related information so jobs are responsible for automation maintenance plans are responsible for automation okay ssis jobs are responsible for automation ssis sql server integration services so jobs maintenance plans SSIS related information will be stored in the MSDB. Automation related data will be stored in the MSDB, guys. MSDB is not so critical database when compared to master and model. Master and model are very critical. Even tempdb is also very critical. But when compared to all these system databases, MSDB is, is somewhat okay. Even though there is no MSDB, you can still start the SQL server. If there is no master, you cannot start. If there is no model, you cannot start. But if there is no MSDB, SQL Server will be up and running. Only automation related things won't work properly. Clear guys? MSDB. Is it clear? MSDB is responsible for automation guys. Automation related data like jobs information, backups information, restores information, SSS packages related information, maintenance plans related information. Like this automation kind of stuff will be stored in the MSDB. It's not so critical when compared to other system databases. Is it clear? Any questions here, please? It's clear, sir. Right. Yes, yes. Fine. Next is tempdb, guys. Tempdb. What tempdb will do? Tempdb, temp, 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 temporary db database. Tempdb means temporary database. Sir, why it is temporary database? I'll tell you. So here, 
while creating the data while creating the tables while inserting the tables say for example yesterday we just filtered the data right we just filtered here we have what is the database name batch uh, batch part is seven i guess i guess here we created batch part is seven let me check no not here batch part is seven underscore new yeah we have employee table so let me tell you guys select star from employee okay select this query and execute it so what you will get guys am i going to get the result am i going to get the result when i execute this query guys can you hear me at least respond guys when I execute this query, am I going to get the result output? Output. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, okay, then we'll get the output. Yeah, this is the output. Okay. What is the output? Invalid object name. Mm -hmm. So one of the student is getting this error. What is the solution for this? Uh, we have to select in master, we have to select there uh, this database name. Yes. That's okay. 47. Simply it is saying, hey, there is no table, there is no such table in the master database. Whenever you are executing a query, you have to make sure in which database you are executing. Okay, I just executed the query, but I executed that query in master. So, what it will give you guys, if any table is there in the master, if any table, employee table is there in the master, you will get the output. In the master, I don't have any table called employee. So, in which database it is there? It is there in batch 47 underscore new. Then if you execute it, you will get the output. Right? You will get the output. So very simple. Here you have to check whenever you are you are executing any query. I always told you whenever you are executing a simple query, small query, big query, system related queries that you can execute on any database, guys. Specific database related queries you cannot execute. Okay. We can also pull the information in another way. Let me keep it master. How can we keep the? How can we get the without changing the database? I can also pull the data in another way. What is the other way, guys? Select. Uh, yes. What is the other way? Uh, use, yes, use and database, uh, database name. name. Correct. So that is yes. a query to change the database. But without using that also, I can get the database details. I mean, table details. How to get it? Without changing the database name, still I can get the table values and all. What is the solution? Select use the database. No, without using that also. I mean database name dot something. Very good. Excellent. Table name. Select yeah. star from yes. What is the database name, guys? Batch forty uh, batch forty seven new. new dot, dot table name. Schema name DBO okay, DB, dot okay. employee. Employee, yes. So I I'm not changing the database name, guys. Here. See here. Employee is master only, but still I'm able to get this is the complete name of the table guys this is the complete name of the table we are simply running employee right select star from employee right you can get it but what is the challenge here the challenge is we have to select the database here but if you know the database if you know the schema then you can run this command also select star from database name dot schema name dot here you can see right dbo dot employee you have to give the full name dbo dot employee before that, in which database it was created? Batch parts and underscore new. So you can give like this also. There is another way also. Why? Because developers will write queries like this only, guys. So you should understand what is this first part, second part, third part. First part means database name, second part means schema name, third part means table name. Now tell me there is another way also. Similar to this command only. There is another way we have to pull the records in a employee table. Or any table there is one more way so here if it is a default schema you can remove dbo okay dot dot database name dot dot table name dot dot means in the in the middle it will treat the dbo schema if it is a default schema dbo if it is a different schema you cannot give like this if it is a default schema dbo then without mentioning the schema name you can still get the details dot dot also you will get the details clear guys 
डेटाबेस नेम डॉट स्कीमा नेम डॉट टेबल नेम और डेटाबेस नेम डॉट डॉट टेबल नेम इफ इट इज ए डिफॉल्ट स्कीमा डी बी ओ इफ इट इज सम अदर स्कीम ऑन डॉल ओके यू कैन नॉट डू लाइक दैट गाइज क्लियर वन मिनट आई बी बैक
yeah guys okay so i'm sorry for that no problem right so uh, i'm sorry for that guys let me let me continue the session right okay so temp db we are discussing about the temp db right so whenever here we discuss just now we discuss so you can you can also pull the details using this uh, command guys okay so sometimes developers will write database name dot dbo name dot table name right schema name dot table name sometimes they will write database name dot dot table name so you cannot confuse guys what is this and all so you can also pull either you can use select store from employee and you can you have to select the database name or use database name or you have to give the database name dot schema name dot table name or database name dot dot table name if it is a default schema so in four in all these four ways you can pull the table values guys okay different developers will use different ways so it depends upon the developers and all fine so here yesterday we discussed it right select star from i just want to okay i just want to pull the details of okay i just want to be here only i'll write the query okay select star from database name dot dot employee where where salary greater than fifty thousand okay so if i just mention like this fifty thousand i can see some records okay how many records total 14 records are there out of 49 you can see 20 records are more than 50,000 salary i told you when you are using filter where condition and all okay you can see some some records will be filtered from the table but the actual records won't be deleted guys from the existing records imagine one lakh records are there in this one lakh records i am filtering all the employees from the hyderabad location so in this one lakh imagine 2000 people are there from hyderabad location remaining 98000 are from different locations so in that case when you execute select star from employees where location is equal to hyderabad you can see 2000 out of one lakh records what about other 98000 records guys as i said earlier those records won't be deleted those records will be there but you can see all the records based on a specific where condition so out of one lakh only two thousand records you can see but what about other ninety eight thousand records you cannot see those records but then where from where i can see these records sql server will temporarily create a temp table temp table sql server will temporarily create a temp tables for data processing this is a data processing right out of some records you are pulling some records other records won't be deleted it will store the results in temporary tables who is responsible for data processing your temp db is it clear guys your temp db is responsible for data processing data sorting your temp db is responsible for data processing and data sorting guys so whenever you are using where can this is just an example i'm saying whenever you are using where condition so some records will be filtered from the set of records so those records you can see in the table format only but in my actual table i can see 49 records but this is a temp table guys this is a temp table this table will be created temporarily in the temp db you might use where condition on salary some other colleague might use wear condition on employee. What happened, John? Sanjeev, sorry. What happened, Sanjeev? Okay, some 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 other employees they will filter the records based on the salary, based on the location, based on the employee name, based on the employee number okay so different different conditions they are going to use right so for the same employee table if you are filtering based on the employee number a temporary table will be created and all the results will be copied to the temporary table if you are filtering based on the employee name one more temporary table will be created and the results will be sorted in that particular temporary table if you are sorting based on the location or salary so how many where conditions you are using SQL Server will create a temporary table and it will copy all the records into the temporary table. That temporary table values you can see. So all this processing will be done in the temp DB, guys. 
all this processing will be done in the temp db now tell me if there is no temp db can i start my sql server if there is no temp db can i start my sql server guys no no why because the data processing will be done in temp db only if there is no temp db there is no data processing the basic properties you are going to miss it sql server will process the data as discussed sql server is an rdbms software which will use it to store the data to process the data to retrieve the data the processing is one property if you are you have to follow you have to get all the three properties storing processing retrieving if you can't retrieve process the data then it's not an rdbms software so these temporary tables will be stored in the temp db guys so temp db is responsible for data sorting and data processing if there is no temp db there is no sql server one more important property is there for temp db as it is a temporary database as it is a temporary database it will be recreated every time when you restart the sql server it will be recreated every time every time when you restart the sql server so when you restart the sql server every time a new temp db will be created why because that's not a permanent database like master model msdb and all like other user databases and all it's a temporary database only use it to store the data sorry to process the data and to to sort the data so what is the use what is the use of the data that is storing inside temp db the data will be stored i told you right temporary tables will be created the data will be stored temporarily until that employee whoever is pulling the data that that colleague that user until the user is pulling the data the data the table will exist if the user is not using the table temporary table then the table will be deleted so temp db is responsible for data processing and sorting first important point second important point without temp db i cannot start my sql server third important point when you restart the sql server a new temp db will be created every time is it clear guys all these three points is it clear sorry for my background yes. voice okay yeah it's clear right everyone are yes. we good guys yes fine. fine so now tell me earlier while discussing model database i told you one important point without model i cannot start my sql server can you relate model database and temp db and now can anyone tell me other than pilu prasad i guess you attended last sessions right other than pilu prasad okay can anyone tell me so why i cannot start my sql server if there is no model database relate model and temp db guys one of the property comes from model database to temp db so what is that property why i cannot start my sql server if there is no model database got the question right earlier we asked this question during model database discussion can we start the sql server without model most of you said no sir it's the correct answer but why what is the reason because it's recreate yes uh, it will recreate yeah. very good next so it will recreate from by the temp very good. i mean msdb very right very yes. model model yeah, i'm sorry model model yeah model right so 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 this the, the temp db we can say the brain brain of the yes. sql server right See, how and master, and master db is, is like temp there is hard yes yeah you can say like that. okay yes so temp db is also as critical as critical as master guys okay so if i'll tell you i'll explain again so every time when you create a when you restart a sql server a new temp db will be created this point we discussed it right so while creating a new temp db temp db means new database will be created while creating new database it will follow model database right any new database if you are creating means it should follow model database if model is down how come temp db can be created if temp db can't be created how come sql server will start guys is it clear everyone is it clear guys so why i cannot start my sql server if my model is down why because temp db will depends on the model database whenever you restart the sql server a new temp db will be created while creating that temp db it will wait for the model database why because it has to take the values file sizes auto growth location in which location i have to create it will it has to take those values from model database right 
so in that way if model is not available if model is not available what happened guys temp db can't be created if temp db can't be created okay your sql server won't start guys clear guys are we good yes no maybe yes yes sir yes right fine okay so guys if you have any, if you are having any concern right hello training chalta hai na okay दो बार अप्लाई किया दोनों बार रिजल्ट नितिन व्हाट हैपेन हेलो नितिन फाइन फाइन गाइस गाइस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन सिस्टम डेटाबेस प्लीज लेट मी नो आई विल एक्सप्लेन अगेन आई डोंट हैव एनी इश्यूज डोंट टेल मी सर प्लीज एक्सप्लेन अगेन ऑल द टॉपिक नो आई कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क मी or if you can't understand any point just let me know i'll explain again okay fine so that means there are no questions that's good not sure whether you understood this concept or not uh, like uh, yes, please uh, uh, partha here so yes, like uh, so the system databases we have master model ms db temp and resource db right yes yes so this is common for all the sql server of, versions or? of course of course of course every version it should come on guys uh, because it even it is a sql server 2000 to, till sql server 2022 you know all the versions the properties the the use cases of system databases are same okay got it got it that's what because any if any for any new uh, version of sql server i thought whether there may be any additional databases added no, so no, that's no. what this is an architecture so oracle architecture will never change right in any version that's right that's right. okay yeah, i got it same way the sql server architecture as per sql server architecture five system databases will be created My, not sure till now it was the architecture in the future might be they can change but not sure till now and all the versions whatever we discussed that is same guys yep yep thank you yeah so final database is resource database resource database is easy okay so when you understand master resource is very easy master and resource both are wife and husband okay master and resource both are wife and husband kind of relation whatever details are storing in master database the same details will be stored in the resource database but what is the difference master database store the data logically whereas resource database will store the data physically master whatever values like we discussed right in the master you can see other database locations other database metadata logins information sql server configurations information whatever master is storing it will store logically the physical path will be there in the resource database that is one important point second important point is resource database is a hidden database resource database is a hidden database you cannot see resource database sir i want proof you can see the files database means two files will be there right so if you see here using this command select star from sys dot sys alt files you can see resource database here okay if you go down you can see resource database this is a name column right so if you go down you can see resource database where is that where is that resource somewhere you can see uh, 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 database id here is the database id db id yeah this is the one you cannot see names guys see here it is not showing resource database see here <coughs> it is showing data file and log file and if you expand the path here let me let me yeah if you see here the path ms sql system resource dot mdf ms sql system resource dot ldf but i cannot see the resource database in my object uh, object explorer or management studio yes you cannot see even though you run a query select star from sys dot sys databases which will help you to find the databases all the databases there also you can you cannot see select star from sys dot sys databases databases 
if you run this query you can see all other databases including system database but you cannot see resource database okay so all text just executed the query and you can see all the databases what happened select star okay let's see <clears throat> okay so if you execute this query you can see all the databases but you cannot see okay so resource database see master temp model msdb batch batch 47 47 batch 47 underscore new you can see system database and user data but you cannot see resource database so only in this table you can see the resource database location and resource database data files and log files names guys if you see here sir i want to see physically yes you can see see here this is the path copy this path control c open run windows r right just paste it okay delete this last value okay just delete it why because you are trying to open a file physically which will throw you an error so just delete it this is the path if you open this path you can see here sometimes they will ask you guys where we can see the resource database files it's an interview question okay so see here this is resource database data file and this is resource database log file generally <clears throat> generally where you can see other database data files and log files this is come until here c program files microsoft sql server c program files microsoft sql server and instance root directory in that ms sql folder in that data folder you can see all databases data files and log files but resource database is separated from this data folder go back go to bin n folder bin n they will ask you in which location i can see the resource database tell them in bin n folder in the instance root directory in bin n folder i can see ms sql system resource ms sql system resource dot log is it clear guys resource database is also responsible for patching i'll explain what is patching and all slowly we'll we'll we'll, we'll touch the patching concept very important concept beautiful concept guys it's easy it's an easy concept so you can see here right the bill number 14.0.1069 actually this number is coming from resource database only this is the resource database version this number is the resource database version the bill number information will be stored in the resource database when you are patching sql server you are patching resource database so this is a critical database right so that's why you cannot see resource database okay that's why you cannot see resource database in the sql server management studio guys the sql server management studio is it clear everyone so if it is clear now tell me ids every database will have database ids guys every database will have database ids you can see here database ids one column called database ids you can see this is master you can see this is these two files are model this is model database database id sorry temp db i'm sorry you can see here temp db so now tell me what are the ids what are the ids for the system database guys can anyone tell me ids for system database like master is what is the id for master database you can tell easily okay just now we discussed it right what is the id for master database what is the db id db id or database id what is the db id for master database yes of course it's one of very course, good sir. yeah what is the db id for model db i guess two two three three okay very good db id for temp db two no wife wife is two <laughs> wife is two huh? <laughs> <laughs> these are yeah. good 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 wife is two okay fine now i have a quick question okay let's discuss so if you see here master is one temp db is two only ids during ids okay master is one temp db is two M model db is three you can see here msdb is 4 and finally the resource database the user database starts from 5 guys these are the user databases 5 batch and 6th batch 47 7th one batch 47 underscore new right and sometimes they will ask you what is the db id for resource db 
the resource database bbid is last id 327767 we discussed it right so we can create 327767 databases in one single database. server right so this is the final database resource database is the final database and the last id is 327767 so this is the id for resource database guys they will ask you what is the db id where we can see the db id they will ask you guys so only in this query you can see the db id for resource database for resource database only in this database in this table you can see the resource database name and values guys in other tables you cannot see even the use select star from this databases or sp underscore help db they will give the information of other databases all other databases except resource database resource database information will be found in this table guys this dot result file clear guys are we good now final question when you start the sql server which database will come to online first this is an interview question when you start the sql server which database will come to online can master. you tell me the order master. order master. of the database master. Okay, master. everyone will tell master very good everyone will tell master i am happy i am happy for that yes uh, now once master is online next which database will come to online out of the five system database out of five system databases which database will come to online first as some people are said master yes very good next after master who will come next resource high resource yes very yes. good after master wife. resource database will come yes husband and wife okay they will come along yes. they will come at a time right next next after master resource who will come online guys which database will come online model sorry temp model tempdbr model model i guess model model yeah because model supposed to be start before tempdb <coughs> to recreate yeah. okay after model i think temp very good okay correct guys master will come first then resource follows master then model has to come next why because based on the model only your tempdb will be created so okay model will come next so once model came online immediately tempdb will be created finally msdb will come online and from then onwards your user databases will follow user databases will follow after so after you, all yes can please. you one more time like that uh, resource uh, like first property which one here a resource resource uh, database resource no, database yeah 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 like, resource uh, database will store the whatever data whatever data see master will store lot of data right master is a logical container for okay. resource mm -hmm. the paths physically it will store in the resource database but master is a logical pointer to the resource database you can say okay. master is logical pointer whatever information is stored in the master lot of information will be stored right Log, it will store login information, SQL Server configuration information, other database, metadata information. All this information will be stored in the master. But logically, the pointer will go to resource database. In the resource database, physically it will store. Master is a pointer to the resource database, I can say. Okay, got it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Fine, guys. Okay, so any other questions here? It's very important, guys. IDs they will ask here. They will ask what is master, what it will do, what is model, what it will do, what is the system database, how many system databases are there, like uh, where I can see resource database, in which path I can see resource database, and they might ask what are the IDs for databases, what uh, what is the starting order of the databases. All these are important questions only, guys. Definitely, you will get pakka two interview questions from today's class. Okay. Then fine, guys. Take a break. Come back at eight. Uh, come back after 15 minutes okay so we'll discuss other things okay guys yeah i'll stop the recording in case if i forgot to recording or else let me do one thing let me stop